Hey, how's it going everybody? Hope you're all doing awesome. My name's Kevin Johnson. Thanks for joining me here on the FBI watch list and thanks for watching Midwest Woodcraft. In this video we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Some of you may, uh, some of you who are familiar with the channel may remember about a month ago I did a camp out video and in that video we used napalm to start our fire. That was all part of a deal where we did a poll in the Midwest Woodcraft group and uh, all the members over there voted for napalm thanks Rob Onkin to uh, start the fire actually turned out really good it was a really cool little experiment so had a few people ask how the process went as far as making that napalm now there's a few different versions if you do your research you're gonna find uh, there's ways you can use gasoline you can use uh, I used acetone uh, just basically fingernail polish remover um, I'm not sure, I'm guessing that the gasoline version is going to be a little more volatile. I wasn't able to get this version here to light with a ferro rod. Now the gasoline version may very well work with the ferro rod. Maybe that's something um, that we can experiment with in later videos. If you guys want to post a comment about that down below, maybe we can try that out. But, uh, basically all you need for this really easy and first I'm going to do a little disclaimer we're not going to be making any kind of explosive device or anything like that this is just going to be a burn test basically see how long this glob of goo here is going to burn so basically I just have some old packing styrofoam from the house uh, this was down in the basement and it's a little bit dirty but I went ahead and cut it up and stuff so I wouldn't make a big mess and have styrofoam flying all over the place out here in the woods so Give me just a second here to make sure camera two is set up properly and uh, we'll get to it. Okay, so we just have our acetone here and I don't have a whole lot left. I'm going to use it to clean some stuff up around the house and stuff. I think we got enough to mess around with here a little bit. I'm just going to take all that I have, dump it in there. Now, as far as ratios and stuff go, I didn't really measure anything out. I basically, what I did was um, just added some acetone and then I just started adding styrofoam and then kind of just added styrofoam until it turned into a slime. Now you'll see here as I start adding the styrofoam, that styrofoam is going to start dissolving. going to keep adding that styrofoam just like that so you can see I'll show you here as soon as we get this piece all the way in there as that's dissolving it's kind of turning into a slime you can see that in there and that's what you want. You want it to dissolve down into that slime. And we're just going to keep adding styrofoam until all the liquid, the acetone in there, is dissolved and we have this basically just a slime. That's about the only way I can really describe it. Eventually, eventually you'll notice as you're adding the styrofoam, the process will start slowing down and then you just kind of mix it up. And I did get some of this on my hands when I've been working with it here and there. Um, it didn't really, I don't, I don't really have super sensitive skin, so it didn't really, uh, really affect me or anything. But probably not the best thing in the world to have that acetone um, evaporating into your skin. Now you can see that process, as far as it dissolving, is really slowed down. Now you got to kind of stir it in there, kind of incorporate it. That's what you want. And I like to leave it a little bit juicy <laughs> with a little bit of acetone in there. And that way it stays nice and it doesn't stick to the sides or anything that way. I found if you just keep adding and adding, 
and the tackier you make it, the more it likes to stick. I am going to add a little bit more. But as far as this goes, I'm not an expert on this, man. People just wanted me to show how I did it, so that's what I'm doing. This is just how I did it. Um, there's probably people out there um, laughing at me as far as how I'm doing this. <laughs> And that's fine, man. As long as I'm entertaining you in these bad times, whether I'm interesting you, whether I'm laughing, making you laugh, laughing along with you, you're laughing at my expense. <laughs> Whatever works, man. Whatever makes us feel better. That looks pretty good there. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go with that. It's not sticking to the sides or anything. It's not sticking to my stick. <laughs> what I did there and then you can kind of kind of moves around and uh, so anyway we'll get set up here in safe location and we'll do a burn test see how long she burns I know you're sticking around for that right I mean you've been here all this time cool all right, so I moved over to a campsite with an established fire pit just for safety, and uh, we're going to do our burn test. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to dump this glob into this uh, pan here, and we're just going to see how long it burns. We'll probably do a time lapse on there, so we're not just sitting here forever watching it. But uh, go ahead and dump that in there, and then... Uh, We'll go ahead and just light the stick and get it lit. So, you got my handy dandy torch here. See it goes right up. And we'll just set that right on there. See how long it goes. residue than I thought there would be left over all right so it looks like it burned for about seven minutes 45 seconds honestly thought it would burn a little bit longer than that but uh, I guess if you had more of course it'd burn a little bit longer but uh, the thing that really impressed me the most was the fact that there wasn't really anything left over uh, you saw the pan there was some soot and it looked scorched but there really wasn't any byproduct or anything left over there I figured there'd be like a little a uh, glob of like burned up plastic or something, you know, something sitting there in the bottom of the pan, but there really wasn't. It was pretty efficient. It burned everything up. So burned really hot, had a lot of black smoke come off of it. So pretty cool little experiment. Had a lot of fun with it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, click like, hit subscribe, leave us a comment down below. We always really love hearing what you have to say. I'm Kevin. Thanks for joining me at Midwest Woodcraft. Hope to see you guys in the woods real soon.